Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl. And over here, I like to focus on all things vinyl, sublimation, and screen printing. I don't focus on perfection because without mistakes, how else are you supposed to learn anything? I have over 15 years of professional experience, if you want to call it that. So you might see things done a little bit differently over here than what you're used to seeing them. I also am dealing with a lot of health issues, a lot of health issues. <laughs> and a lot of doctor's appointments, and they're still trying to figure out everything. So you might see me stumble over my words. I might miss saying something in the tutorial. So please be forgiving and understanding, please. And thank you for those who are. And I am extremely honest about affiliate links and when project products, products are sent to me, so if that sounds like something you're into, then you might want to stick around and think about joining the Cutting Corners family. If not, you might want to buzz on because my honeybees, they can have a real sting to them. So, as you can tell from the title of the video, we are going to be playing around and learning how to make some alcohol ink HTV. And we're going to be working with the new Thermoflex color up. Now this product was sent to me by Specialty Materials. This is an awesome new product. I've been playing around with it for a while. I have a video that I posted last week over it. This is some awesome stuff. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. I mean, look. And this is something, this is one of the projects that I made with it. And this is already, this is washed, just so you know. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, then stay tuned. For today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make the alcohol ink vinyl. Now this isn't a super detailed tutorial because alcohol ink is just a whole lot of fun to work with, or at least it is for me. I had a blast doing this. Now all the supplies that I use are linked in my Amazon store, which is listed down below. I have an alcohol ink list, so it's pretty simple. Now, one of the dropper bottles down below are that silicone cups is filled with just regular isopropyl alcohol. The other one is just regular water. So everything's pretty easy to find. I will link up in the cards my first video over the color up, which has instructions on how to apply it. My next video will be a little bit more detailed instructions on using the color up. And then I do have a full video coming up on how it's lasted through a ton of washes because I have been playing with this for quite a while. So just in case you're wondering, because I've been playing with this, as I said, a bunch. I don't like to just show you one small test and then being like, oh, well, this is what it did. I go through and I test this quite a lot, but I've had a blast working with this. Now with alcohol ink, it's a layer upon layer process. And I wanted to use this with this product because you can't get this with regular HTV. And using this on most of your printables, you can't. And as you can tell, you can fully saturate this without an issue. I played with this with using the foil. The foil really didn't stick to it, but I used pigments. Now, when I used my pigments with it, I did find that using the dishwasher safe Gorilla Mod Podge was the best thing to hold it down. Um, it does say to use a water-based product to make it stick alcohol dries out of it and it made it permanent that's why i decided to play with using the alcohol ink with it and it has worked beautifully all of the alcohol ink prints that i have made 
I have taken and as you can see have been applied to garments they have been washed they've been dried and they've done beautifully but I mean you can see I fully saturated this and when it dries like you can see what it looks like as you're applying it it doesn't look the same as it dries and alcohol inks come in a ton of different colors where you can really mix and match and play with it so that's where the fun of this comes in again this one I tried my I forget Liquitex um, glazing medium so it really gave a unique texture to this it does add a texture now your texture doesn't go away whenever you wash it it stays it just gives it you do have to remember that it is going to add some thickness when you go to cut it and this stuff does cut and weave like a dream other than if you do add a little bit too much thickness to it so again you can layer you can add more you can add less and depending on the liquid that you add to mix with it it will give you different types of blend to your ink and again it's almost like Jackson Pollock artwork and I put butcher paper underneath and I have a silicone pad now typical paint does not stain my silicone pad but the alcohol ink definitely stained the silicone pad but it was only the red ink that stained um, just so you know but it did work and I did end up bleaching the white that did end up getting stained from the comfort color and it didn't mess up my uh, it didn't end up messing up my white shirt my vinyl or my white shirts isn't that pretty and it still has the metallic look to it so the Maj Paj did not wash away but you can create marbled effects you can do so so much with it now one thing I will say whenever you are saturating your vinyl you don't want to go and saturate your edges too much because you will get some lifting and if you do get lifting you want to make sure that you dry it and you squish it afterwards <laughs> and what I mean by that is let your vinyl dry and put something heavy on it so you stick it back down and again whenever you're using your heat gun you don't want to use too strong of a heat gun and you do not want to get it too close depending on which way you're blowing your heat gun you can make some really cool veining effects with it so you can apply it straight down to make it go in like a straight line but if you take and wiggle it around you can make it have some really different effects you see how I'm making it have more of like a veining and it has a really cool transparent effect to it and there is white alcohol ink but again the white alcohol ink did lift more with the transfer tape than the other colors so that is a thought behind it and the alcohol ink does require a longer time to dry between up application for this before being able to apply it to your shirt now this one was a full-on test I fully saturated this is where I said if you apply a lot you're gonna see a lifting on the edge I fully saturated this whole sheet 
I wanted to see what would happen if I could mess up the vinyl. And I did not. The shirt that you've seen at the beginning of the video, the true crime obsessed, that is with this vinyl. That's what it looked like when it was done. It looks beautiful. I couldn't mess it up if I tried. It just, this is just a great product. You can print it on your inkjet. You can print it on your laser. You can print it, you can draw on it, you can paint on it. It's just a great product. So I'm going to upload that file on my Patreon page if you want to test this out. As I said, I'll link the other video in the cards so you can see it for yourself. But hopefully you like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And we shall see you all in the next one.